inside the Georgian Phyllis Rothman Center in Hackensack, New Jersey. This is Northeast Conference basketball, and this is the semifinal round of the 2023 NEC Women's Basketball Tournament. Tonight, it's the top-seeded regular season champion FD Unites and the fourth-seeded St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers. 84 to 48 in the quarterfinal round to get here to semifinal Thursday. Mandoma hands off to Kavanaugh, putting it up and in. FD Unites, one of the best three-point shooting teams in the league. They have a 6-2 to two advantage. They also thought about it, driving in for a closer look. Count it and one. The foul on Dan. Umbrella story that year, so you never know. They're, they're shorthanded right now. That might be the case today. It could be the fuel to their fire. And Dome at the free throw line, off the glass and in. Home court was the worst feeling ever, and we don't want to experience it again. You just can't get too overhyped, especially in these early minutes. Absolutely, and we see them. They're, they're playing sped up, and the Terriers, they're playing fearless. Tyra Myers drains the jumper. They're going to have to try to push her out to a wing if you're St. Francis Brooklyn because she's feeling so comfortable from up top. Down low, Bendoma gets the bounce off the back iron. Bayoso has an open look for three. Got it. Nothing but net. Love the heads up play by Varga. St. Francis Brooklyn, their opportunity goes unanswered. And now here's D'Angelo from the top of the circle knocking it down. The final, if Merrimack beats Sacred Heart, then the winner of this game clinches the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament as Wilson continues her run. Mask is actually nice compared to the one that I had. I had the, uh, the the Rip Hamilton mask, the one with the big white block on the top of the head. So, so uh, nonetheless, she she's toughening it out. Uh, that was just about 24 hours ago. Bayosa driving in from the left, gets it to go. Here's D'Angelo. D'Angelo fakes to the right, trying to come in, is rejected by Bandoma. Are you serious? No, no, no. That was a not in my house type of block by Bandoma. Coming over on the rotation, her teammate gets beat. That's okay. I got your back. Now in her second season, has shown a ton of improvement this year. Here's Varga. Varga. Gets it in the lane to Bandoma for the lay-in off the window. Without Wilson on the floor, here's Bandoma. Bandoma driving in on D'Angelo, got it, and one. Ball from the right side, a couple bounces off the iron, and it falls off. That wasn't a good possession for the Knights. They were a little stagnant on offense. A great pass down low, feed the big girl and reward her for running the floor. To Wilson. Forbes, three ball from the right corner, and this one goes down. Trying to work her way into that consistency that she had before. Conklin buries the triple. And bounce pass to Ellibring. Baseline jumper, no. Another chance for the Knights. Carmeniel knocks it down. Time. They were involved in the first ever final back in 1987, and before he asked Ty, no, I wasn't there covering it. I'm not that old. They, they won it in 1990 and 1992. Had basketball or nursing, you don't really see her anywhere else. <laughs> Trying to go to the NCAA tournament and the championship game as well. D'Angelo fouled and won. Earn some clock. They don't have to rush to take shots. Get into your offense, run your sets, try to get the best shot possible. And if you miss it, Hustle back on defense. Not a problem, though, for Forbes. You don't want your star player, Chloe Wilson, only being able to play 23 minutes. That's a, that's a lot. Don't get me wrong, but she's a 30-minute or more type of player. Is and That's just the strength, the body, the, the focus going to the cup, the use of her shoulders, putting her shoulders down. Well, Myers finally gets a big shot. She rebounds. We also 12.7 rebounds to lead St. Francis Brooklyn tonight. Myers off the mark. Tipped right back to the center of floor. Nanashevska has it. Feeds it up ahead for the lay-in by Bandoma. They get past this hurdle. They get past the semifinals, and they get past St. Francis Brooklyn 59 to 40, the finals. They get past this hurdle. They get past the semifinals, and they get past St. Francis Brooklyn 59 to 40, the final.